Hi everyone, Emma here. I'm so excited to show you my new stash of 8 beads. There is an exception here. I've got some 11 O's. Um, these are from Bead Melee on Etsy and she's in Canada, but she does do international shipping. And there is some free shipping available. Just go ahead and take a look. She has great prices and um, there's, every time I've gone to the site, there's been a sale. So definitely worth looking into. If you like to order your beads in 20 gram tubes, this is the place to go. So lovely. So here is the light milky or silver line milky light aqua and it is stunning so let's take a look at this and i mean it's full to the top oh my goodness let me see if i can show you this without dropping anything They are so beautiful. I forget how tiny 11 O's are. You know, I definitely, I can, I can just look at something and tell you what size beads are involved. But then I get them in my hand at times and I'm thinking, what the heck? These are tiny. Start questioning whether it's a 15 or an 11. And I think somebody mentioned in the last video I, I did a bracelet that was using um, 11 O's and 15 O's that they couldn't believe how they thought it was larger size or tiny that it was all 15s so there's that one there and her prices are really um, competitive and a good deal so this one Ceylon snowflake I have to say you probably run into this when you do beading as you go to do something and you're like okay i need some white beads and then you realize first of all i have no white beads in my stash and then second you you're like no that white does not match what i'm doing and you can see there's two examples this one ceylon snowflake and this is opaque luster white and how different are these guys they're just incredible so, oh yeah, this one's so full that the cap is coming off. Let me see here. And these are, th the next ones I'm showing you are all 8-0s. Oh, these are beautiful. And that's the other thing too, is you think, you know, a, a white bead is in essence doesn't have any color but you can still get some beautiful stunning beads in white I like to go like totally crazy with colors and then every once in a while I'm like you know what I am gonna just take some basic one colors like black or white and just see what I can come up with yeah this one's like super full I'll have to be careful with that one and then we have the opaque luster white it's one of my favorites and these are Toho I should mention so if you're not familiar with the different type of beads a check bead is a little more rounded and this one is a little more tubular so you can you can actually do projects that usually ask for delica you can use tohos and it will really um it will still do the same effect they don't sit as you know uh, nestle as closely together as say a delica but they will definitely do some really interesting designs let's go ahead we're going to go from one side to the other haha <laughs> -ha, black frosted jet black that's another thing too is when you start getting into the different um finishes <laughs> then you're 
and trying to match stuff with your finishes. This is one. Now this one is lovely frosted black. This is great for doing, uh, you know, outlining some other colors. But also I like to use these for uh, men's bracelets. They're really lovely. And then we have this blue transparent frost cobalt. Cobalt, one of my favorite. Let me double check my camera and make sure everything's... This looks a little dark to me. There we go. I moved my camera up so I'm seeing it at an angle. And when you look at your tablet on an angle, it sometimes makes it dark. These are lovely. Oh my gosh. I'm obsessed with cobalt when it comes to painting. I do um, like outdoor scenes and I like doing a really dark blue sky before a storm with this cobalt color. It's just so impactful. So it'd be cool if you could see how that would translate into beads. And then we're getting into the silver lined. <laughs> so the other thing is, I I never used to get too many blue or seek out blue beads. And it's not that I don't like them. It's just you tend to gravitate to what you like all the time. And then when I asked my sister what color bracelet she wanted, she'd say, oh, I love blue. <laughs> So now my my blue stash has expanded. These are beautiful. So big thank you to uh, Melanie from Bead Melee. She's been doing this for years. I actually don't know how many years, but a long time. And, you know, for the longest time when I started out beading, that's the only place I knew where to buy beads was on Etsy. And you have to be careful because some of the stuff that you buy is um, cheaper, either online or through Michaels. But uh, not the case with with Melanie. Oh, these are these are like icy, shiny, silver line light sapphire. I knew I was missing some. Look at this. Silver line dark aqua. Oh yeah, that lo definitely looks like the water. And this is a different cap. Not a big. That came out nicely. I have some uh, bead tubes that I bought and there's just, I can't get the caps off at all. These are gorgeous. Oh, can't wait. So in case you're wondering, I am a bit prolific when it comes to beading. <laughs> so you're probably looking at all these going, Emma, you're never going to get through all of these. Um, I, when I get an order like this, actually sometimes before I do the unboxing, I'll grab a bunch of them and do a design like right away with them and in my head as I'm even as I'm unboxing them I'll say I have ideas in my head and I set a goal for myself to do something with each different color so now you don't you guys don't see all of it because some of them are experimental so I don't um it's not that I I care if you see me do designs that don't turn out, it's just I have so many videos <laughs> that, um, you know, I'd almost have to say, OK, today <laughs> and and just turn the camera on every day and do videos. These are gorgeous. I think I got some of these color from uh, 
baby craft and already did a no maybe this is a light one so I don't know it's official I'm getting beads everywhere I'm a bead hoarder this one so this color I just love 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 but I haven't come up with a design that really um, showcases it. So if you have a design, let me know. This is Transparent Rainbow Frost Teal. I have them. I probably have them in every size available. And I probably have multiples because I'm obsessed with them. So I buy them more than once accidentally, of course. Not on purpose. These are so beautiful. Oh, there's another one. Milky Kiwi. Yummy. I have a funny story to tell you. So when Sylvia and I were teenagers, we used to do stuff with my mom. My mom didn't drive. So we lived in Toronto. And um, so we'd take the streetcar everywhere or the subway and stuff. So we had stopped at a, um, like a um, fruit market on our way to somewhere else. And kiwis had just been available in canada and it was a big deal so my mom bought some and we're standing waiting for the streetcar so she takes one out and she thought it was like an apple you could just take a big bite out of it right so <laughs> she took a big bite she's like she's like holding it in her mouth going uh, uh, it's furry me and Sophie are like laughing, going, I think you're supposed to peel it first. <laughs> oh, gosh. We had so much fun with my mom. She used to pull us out of school all the time. Or, it, better yet, she'd wake us up in the morning and she'd say, do you guys feel like going to school? And me and Sophie would look at each other going, this is a freaking trick question. I know it. <laughs> We're like, no. <laughs> and she'd say, do you want to come shopping and to lunch with me? We're like, yeah. <laughs> she did that so much that at the parent teacher meeting, the teacher said, you know, we couldn't miss that much school. And my mom said, well, are, is their homework getting done? She's like, yes. Are their grades good? She says, yes, they're at the top of the class. And she's like, well, <laughs> you know, if it's not making a difference, but so my mom, we, there was nine of us kids. So by the time it was me and Sylvia, we were the youngest. She had serious empty nest uh, syndrome. So she needed the company. <laughs> we're like, okay, these are beautiful. These are, let me flip the tube here. Inside color crystal mint lined. Oh, these are so gorgeous. This to me is a lovely summer color and I want to double check the camera lighting. I think it's too washed out. There we go. I think I'll have to double check the lighting on this between beads because some are dark and some are light. So yeah. She used to take us uh, cycling to the Toronto Islands. She had a neighbor that cycled as well, so he would come with us. We had so much fun. Yep. Then we have silver line teal. Teal's an interesting color, I find. Um, another thing I did with my sister Sylvia was we took a ceramics course and um, one of the glazes that I used was um, teal and they had a 
it was like a, a, a dish, but it was a clamshell dish that you put soaps in and stuff like that. So they had that. So I would make them in with this teal glaze. Oh my gosh, it was just amazing. Just fell in love with it. So <laughs> the funny thing is, my wife and I argue about what color is green and what color is blue. And I think, as far as I know, I think some people see it one color, some people see it another. It's kind of like that thing that was going around on the internet, what color was the dress or something. So my wife and I definitely see greens and blues differently. And I'm like, who's the artist here? And I'm right. <laughs> I I had her convinced that she was colorblind. <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> Here's another one of my favorite colors. Semi-glazed rainbow lemongrass. Oh my gosh. And I don't know if you can see, but on the edge of the inside of the bead, there's these little sparkly, almost like it's got a gold lined thing going on. These are so beautiful. Oh, I need to keep these out. These are, I'm going to do a design right away with these. One escaped. It's going to play with its friends. Look at the sparkle. Silver lined lime green. Oh my god. Oh, these are incredible. They're like glowing. Oh, I cannot wait to use these. How lovely is that? I'm trying to think of some more funny stories with my mom. So, you know, sometimes I wonder where I got my craftiness from. My grandmother, my dad's mom, she used to collect like our broken toys and she would make, she'd put them together in a different way and make stuff and put them as lawn ornaments. So needless to say, we had like Barbie doll heads and she'd crochet a dress for it and put it on a Javex bottle and then stick it out on the lawn. <laughs> so I think I'm just I'm kind of guessing. Here we go, galvanize saffron. Um, and I can't remember the PF, perma something to per, perma finish galvanized saffron. This is gorgeous too. And we were talking in the last video, somebody mentioned that they were born in 59 and that they've been obsessed with orange lately. And you know what? I have to say I'm the same. So I was born in 65, but it doesn't matter that orange and brown. Let me grab one of these brown colors here with <laughs> knocking things over see these kind of colors if I had a yellow I'd put a yellow in there <laughs> these were the colors in, in during that time so clothing furniture carpets orange carpets <laughs> very familiar it's like I feel like it's um reclaiming that so back when you're a teenager you're like Ew, I'm not wearing an orange and brown top. It's so blah. And now I'm like, oh, it's so beautiful. And I mean, you know what? Those colors, when they came out, were radical in the sense that they were um, really pushing the envelope with bright colors and um, huge graphic shapes and stuff like that. So these are our lovely big earrings. Remember the big ear? These would love. We should try and figure out to do some retro earrings. Like maybe find a Vogue magazine from back then 
and see if we can see some earrings and create some I am full of ideas. <laughs> Surprise! I have, so if you look at my uh, YouTube page, it says 1.1K, um, which is 1,000 videos. I actually have 1,200. I'm not sure why they're not flipping it to the 1,200, but um, I'm sure once I get, by the end of the year, it might flip it. And some of them maybe because they're private. I have no idea why, but I've tried to figure it out, but it's not happening. So here's another color that I run into problems matching, and that is reds. And I am surprised that I don't have a lot of reds in my stash. <laughs> this. These are lovely. I love dark, dark reds, like cherry or uh, cranberry. Semi-glazed dark red. Wow. I, I never thought I'd be... Not, not annoyed, but with like having a full bottle. <laughs> Thank you, Melanie. You're probably laughing like, I can't please everyone. People complain they're not full. Like, but then they go everywhere. So this one is Transparent Frost Ruby. Oh, this is like licorice. I'm going to eat these. I'm in trouble. Oh, these are so beautiful. Wow. So just remember too, I am totally open to suggestions if people have a design that they, they're not sure how to do. If you send me, email me a photo of it, a screenshot, or even just explain what it is, or if you saw a video, same thing. Um, let me know. I'm always open to doing stuff. It helps me get motivated in a very specific way. Otherwise, I'm like all over the place. So here we have the silver lined milky mauve. Uh, so I had ordered this in BB Craft. I recognize the name. So this was, I got in another one. And it is beautiful. Oh. It's not mauve. It's pink. <laughs> That would be another <laughs> argument. <laughs> if you look back at some of my old unboxings from art bead sales, when they have like the dollar bead box sales, I did a whole bunch of those. And, uh, oh, we're just going to leave those. I, I'll fix them later. Um, I was renaming the beads colors because they had it wrong. Oops. Oh, these are cool. So these are definitely a hot pink Ceylon. And these are for the summer, don't you think? I wonder if I could do like a stretch bracelet that's a woven one. If it would still stretch once you wove it back and forth a few times. I have to test that one out. Because this would be nice to keep on and you could get in the pool with it and not worry. But of course, I probably wouldn't wear, I wouldn't want to put beads in the filters. Like if it broke in the pool, they would not be happy with me. Ceylon Frost Innocent Pink. Oh, that's like baby pink. That's what we used to call it. In the old days. You ladies know, and, and Richard, know who I'm talking about. <laughs> so you have to check out Richard's uh, channel, Men. Um, oh, gosh. I apologize, Richard. It's not that I don't think of your 
channel name. It's just that I'm re I'd like to rename it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Real Men Craft 2, it's called. <laughs> Should check his videos. He's, he, right now he's doing diamond painting, but he has been beating for, I think, 53 years and um, had a channel and stuff like that. He's just, he has so many interests like I do too. So he has a, another channel that's um, horror books, stuff like that. So these are gorgeous. Let me adjust the lighting. I think they might be washed out. So these are gorgeous. Yeah, we used to call this baby, baby pink and baby blue. And I am kind of partial to this cow, this pink color. I don't know. It's you know it's funny. I was laughing at the word innocent. I was just gonna say it's kind of a like a gentle pink. Just lovely. Oh, look at this pink. Oh my gosh, I love this pink. Silver line frosted rosaline. So I have some rosaline. Um. Sarovsky pearls. Oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. So I did fine. So I used these to do, and I actually have one here. Let's take a look at these and then we'll I'll show you. I made a uh, toggle clasp in this. I did fine. This color was bigger than the other Toho's. Um, enough that it distorted the uh, design so you had to kind of this is the only one that I came across that and you know what I'm not usually kind of picky where if a bead is bigger I'm like that's even better <laughs> but it affected the design so let me show you here I may have put it off to the side because I I think I have another tray of these. Yeah, I do. Like I separated them by the ones that match the bracelets that I was making. But so I can't show you here. You can see how lovely. This is the, the mauve, I think. No, where is it? Oh, I guess that's that's darker. This one maybe. Look at this one. Oh. Anyway, that's another video. <laughs> Squirrel. We got the last three here. Medium topaz. Topaz is one of my favorite colors, and for whatever reason, I don't know why. I can't remember the name in the last little while I think um so I am having a lot of chest pain and I'm getting like investigations regarding it and one of the things they say is your energy levels low and you're a bit like foggy brain fog so I'm wondering if that's what it is and my wife says to me she goes yeah not to mention we're getting old <laughs> Well, at least we'll have our beads to keep us company. <laughs> Those are beautiful. That's the garbage guys going by. I don't know if you can hear it. Sometimes the camera picks it up. Other times you're like, I don't know what you're talking about. Silver line smoky topaz. So the frosted. I thought frosted meant like a... Let me see if there's like a... Like the black, like a matte. Yeah, frosted jet. This is shiny. Not that I care. <laughs> this is gorgeous. Again, I'm going to rename it. Sorry, Melanie, I'm renaming all your beads. <laughs> so here we have the silver line smoky topaz. Oh my gosh, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I did a bunch of designs early on with these different topaz colors, and they're just stunning. 
and here's the So yeah, you can see this is not the correct bead in here. This one's frosted. I think I do have a medium frosted somewhere, but I, again, these are so gorgeous. You can't have them back. <laughs> They're mine. This is the last one. Smoky fr uh, frosted topaz. Oh yeah. These are going to be stunning in a design. Lovely. So thank you everyone for joining me. Lots of information there about the different, uh, you know, emailing me and stuff like that for design ideas. And stay tuned. We're coming up with a bunch of giveaways soon. Um, yeah, I just got to. <laughs> I just got to move some things around on my calendar. I'm just kidding. Take care, everybody. We're going to see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> and don't forget, this is from Bead Mailey on Etsy. And I'll put the um, link for her site in there. Take care. Bye.